Okay. <clears throat> well, as with almost everything I've ever done, when I'm all done with the project, or almost all done, I'm like, gee, that would have been a good video. I should make a video. And it's too late. All right, so let me just get the legs out of the picture here because I'm about two feet from it. All right, so my, my harebrained idea this time was to make a, a banana, a stand to hold bananas, all right? And here it is. It's not done, uh, but it's relatively crappy, but it's something, all right? So I actually used, had to glue a couple of pieces of, uh, this is cherry together. This is all free-handed. Foolishly, I didn't have a thick enough piece, so I had to cut off another piece and glue it to this to make it, to make it longer. And then it wasn't tall enough, so I had to get, this was actually a solid piece of walnut I had. Uh, it was, whatever, probably uh, six quarters or something, maybe an inch and a half, I'm not sure. But anyway, I used this. I cut this out just freehand on the saw, on the band saw. And now I'm at the point where I'm finished sanding it. And what I have to do, the way I put it together, and I want to finish the pieces independently. See how crummy that looks? I, I drilled a perfect hole down the middle of this. I drilled, I had to freehand hold this and drill a perfect hole perpendicular. And then unfortunately, the whole thing was off to the side. So I had to drill another hole close by. I had to drill another hole so I could, uh, watch, so I could move it exactly the right way. So I'll show you what it looks like. Like I said, everything fights you. This, I had to cut down. So, what you have is one of these in here. This, this way I can finish the whole thing. This is epoxy, <laughs> black epoxy, because there was a void in there I didn't, I uncovered. So now what I have to do is, because this can be turned, there's only one spot here, I'm gonna have to put a pin. I'm probably gonna put a pin closer to the front. So I'm gonna put this back, try to get it lined up exactly then see if I could drill a hole, and I'll show you what I, what I found to make a pin out of. I took a Dremel, and I cut off uh, like an old Dremel sander. Uh, it, was, it was like a piece of junk that I had used to like polish something a long time ago. It was like a polishing cloth. I'll show you. So I made a metal pin out of it. So right now what I'm going to do is put this back, try to get it centered exactly in the right spot, like exactly where I want it. I'll show you. Like it was before. So. This is not like I'm going to be taking it apart and putting it together a thousand times, but see, so you can turn it. And I don't, want it to, I don't want it to twist. I want it to be exact, exactly in the right spot. So I'm going to kind of keep it loose here put it how I want it. Make sure that's kind of even, which it's not right now. Tighten it up. All right, so now I think it's even on both sides. Make sure it's even in the front. It is, it's, it's, it's. So now what I'm gonna do since there's more meat in the front than in the back, I'll show you what I got from a Dremel. So I cut this off. This is, this was part of a, a Dremel tool, not a tool, but this is the part that went into the Dremel over here. It's rounded by the company. This I cut off with a cutoff wheel and I rounded it a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole, let's call it in front of, in, in, 
I'm going to drill a hole maybe like around, around here. That's going to go up into this. Maybe over here I'll do it. And then I can hammer it in and then it'll give me like an index spot in order so that, so that this will just be sticking up in here and I'll, I'll know exactly where to put it back. Again, I could just tighten it, leave it like this and call it a day, but why make it easy? So now what I have to do is get a drill bit that's just not just a little smaller, <laughs> just a little smaller than, let's see. So I'm going to do, I'm going to take a piece of this scrap wood like this, drill a hole with the drill bit, and hopefully the drill bit will, so let's see. So the smallest one in this kit is an eighth. And it's definitely a little bit smaller than this. So let's try it out. I'm going to drill a hole. I think this is going to be, have to be like in and out. I don't think I can screw around or it's not going to. All right, so let's give this a try. We're just going to go in and out. I should put something under there to make sure I don't. So let's see if I do a hole like that. I can hammer that in. That's a little tight though. So that's an eighth. The next one up 964 is going to be too big. So the question is, where do I drill this? I don't want to split the wood. This is going to have to be right. Probably what I should do. This way I could make sure I'm vertical. So what I'll do is I'll clamp this down. If I can find a clamp. There we go, hold on. question is how long, how far do I go? So I'm going to do it all the way to the base of the threads. That's going to be how far down I go. Measure twice, cut once. Right? Isn't that what they say? It's not what I say. Better or worse, there you go. So now, I'm gonna hammer that pin in, and hopefully I can hammer this all the way down. There we go. I got a little, uh, I brought something to even recess it a little bit, but of course I can't find it right now. So I'll use this. Okay. All right, so let's see how that worked out. What's the chances of me being able to remove it and then like a key like put it in and take it out I say 50 50 make sure it didn't twist it didn't all right
Make sure the pin's not sticking out. It's not. Okay, so now there's the hole. There's the key. So when I put it on, there's only one place it could go, which is the right place. I probably will epoxy that when I'm done. Just so it doesn't come out. But perfect. Perfect. Ta-da. So now it can't now it can't twist. Like I said, when I'm all done, I'll throw some epoxy in there. Right now I might might take it out so that I can uh, finish this like on a machine. But it is almost finished already. But it's harder to finish with that thing standing up like that. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Well, the next thing I'll keep you posted. Next thing's probably just going to be to uh, either. Fill the grain, which a little bit too much effort, I think, for what I'm doing here. Just put a little bit of uh, a finish on it. It's just going to be clear. I'll put a few coats of clear stuff on it. So we'll see.